you everybody, it's your boy Moski back with another video. Today's is a review video on The Last of Us Episode 7. Uh, so I wanted to let you guys know I'm still new to this review stuff. So uh, if I miss anything uh, of the episode, please forgive me and let me know in the comments down below if I miss anything. But I'm just gonna like pinpoint the areas that I thought it was important in the uh, show in my opinion. So here we go. So we start off with the episode from the previous episode where uh, Joel got stabbed and Ellie like, you know, was just like panicking, like trying to help Joel. And he eventually passed out. And here's the thing I don't get. <laughs> so Joel passed out and Ellie was obviously, she's like panicking and scared and she doesn't want to be alone. That's the, like the biggest fear that she has. So he's passed out and obviously they have a horse and they have a long like a long ride ahead of themselves and he's not like physically able to walk on his own how i just don't understand i wish they showed it i didn't uh so the next scene from the episode from this one they showed the next scene that uh I, i'm assuming he got dragged by ellie but i don't know how that's physically possible she he is way bigger than her <laughs> i said how did ellie move joel to the house in a basement and i don't know I, I'm, I'm just thinking maybe a horse, he put a rope on top of him, on his like body and then horse pulled, I don't know. That was the thing I just wanted to see, like how did Ellie move Joel? But they didn't show that part. So we cut to a scene of them uh, talking and then Joel's like looking, like basically saying like, you know, go to Tommy, like go to him basically and just leave him behind. Cause Joel's thinking to himself like he ain't gonna make it. Like he's dead, like he's bleeding too much and like there's no way that he can protect Ellie uh, himself. And Ellie didn't want to. She was like, no, I'm not leaving, I'm not leaving. And Joel's just like pushed her away, like go leave. And then she has this like moment where she runs upstairs and then she opens the door, but then she stops. And then we cut to a flashback about her uh, history. And they hinted this at around like in episode uh, two, I think, two or three quote me if I'm wrong but she when she was like uh saying like something about when she was talking to Tess I remember her talking about Tess and like uh like she she was hiding something basically from Tess which I forgot what question it was but that was a while ago anyways uh so we go to a scene where now we're going to Ellie's past of what she was going through as a as a kid and you know how she's growing up and she's with uh she's being trained by Fedra, Fedra, that's a Fedra, Fedra, and uh, they're training her to be like a, like one of the leaders that, you know, of their facility, and you know, you got these like fireflies against Fedra, and like you can see both their point of views, but at the same time, I feel like both sides are messed up, because you got one side, the fireflies bombing like facilities, and there's actually people inside, but they're doing it just to go against Fedra. But you got Fedra being really strict and then hanging people. I'm like, Jesus, both sides suck. <laughs> and what's it called? Then we meet we meet this new character that is uh, uh, Ellie's best friend, Riley. So they had uh, a funny like interaction when they first met. Not first meet, but like as in us seeing them together. Because uh, I guess Riley left the facility of Fedra because she was there with Ellie. And she was gone for like a couple weeks. And she came back, sneaked in the window, and scared Ellie by putting her mouth, uh, hand over her mouth, and freaking obviously anyone, if anyone would do, kick him off of you. Like, who the hell are you? Turns out it was Riley that scared Ellie, and she was telling Ellie like, "Hey, uh, I would like to show you something." And she, she was like, you know, she was contemplating like, "I don't know if I should go because it's late. I have to get up and like, you know, do my watch." But uh, that's what Ellie was saying to uh, Riley. Sorry, I was gonna burp, but I didn't. <laughs> um, so then we got to a scene of just like them uh, making their way to this uh, area that Riley wants to take Ellie. They finally make it, they get to the place, and it turns out it's an abandoned mall. And I was like, damn. So this is literally there near the game. Like, uh, uh, I forgot what the, it was a DLC, I remember, but I forgot the name of it, and I don't wanna butcher it, so I'm not gonna say it. So yeah, I was like, okay, so they're starting from the DLC. So this is this wasn't in the main game. I'm like, okay, so we're gonna go right here. So 
she uh, Ellie was shocked to see that you know there's a mall and she thought it was full of, uh, like it was full of infected and I guess that it wasn't I guess like you know they lied about it and it had power and you know they can only see what's in the inside of the power people can't see the outside because I was wondering like ain't there gonna be people seeing their light no one can see it it was just only them whoever's inside so they go around exploring and Riley's like showing her like a good time and I started noticing Riley was uh like almost like trying <laughs> it was like she was being flirtatious like you know taking a homegirl out you know showing her things that she never seen doing fun things and you know you see the tension between her it's, it seemed more Riley liked Ellie more than Ellie liked Riley and I, that's that's what I was getting in the beginning of the of the episode and you know they're just exploring all these stories and it was a pretty cool moment with uh Ellie, because you don't think about it as much. Um, when they first got at the mall and she, when the power was on, Ellie was she seen her first time ever uh, uh, like escalators, like the things that just go up and down. That was her first time seeing it, and she was so happy and sh like you know shocked that that like that's so cool to her. That is Disneyland, <laughs> but it makes it so sad. Like dang, it's because these kids never grew up at a time of like, you know, regular society. And you know, all they seen was just death, infected, and just world being messed up. So seeing that, you know, it made me smile a little bit more cause you know, like having a kid actually see something that they, you know, they're not, you know, keen on them seeing on a normal basis. You know, it's pretty cool. So that was a pretty cool scene. Then we get to a scene of them like riding on a, a, a miracle ride. Or how do you say it? Uh, Marigold Ride? I don't know, I'm probably butchering it, but it's the thing with the horses going around in circles. I forgot what it's called. It's been so long since I've been on one. <laughs> so, Merry Go Round. Maybe that's what it's called. Merry Go Round. I think that's what it is. So, my bad if I mess it up. Let me know in the comments down below if I do. <laughs> so, they went on there and having a conversation, and they're uh, just, uh, what's it called? Just, you know, letting, letting her know that. Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what she was saying, but I remember Ellie having a, like a bottle of liquor. Oh, speaking about the bottle of liquor, my bad, I forgot to pinpoint this another thing. See, this is why I'm, this is, I'm, I'm new at reviews. It just popped up in my head. There was this one moment, it just made me look, it made me like think about Ellie's kind of sadistic and crazy. So before they even went to the mall and they're in like Riley and Ellie, before they even went there, so the, on their way there, there is this uh, uh, area that Riley usually goes through, and she's like, uh, and then when she got to the area of the house, they're going through house to house to roof to roof, trying to make it past Fedra to get to the area, to the mall. But before they got there, they had to go to this hallway in this house, and there was this dead body. And, there, and Ellie was asking Riley, saying like, hey, was this here before? She was like, no. And I guess uh, there was a bottle, and he had pills, and I'm guessing he killed himself by, you know, overdosing. So they take the bottle and then the freaking body falls through the freaking uh, floor and it goes straight down here splat and Riley was she looked shocked she was like oh my god like what the hell and then it showed Ellie smiling and laughing like oh my god that was awesome I'm like you crazy little girl she little oh. <laughs> I was like I don't know if I can trust you I don't know. Just from that scene, it just made me just feel weird about her. I don't know. She didn't feel like she was fully all the way there. Like, she liked seeing that stuff. I don't know. That's that's my opinion. That's what I thought. I just thought it was weird. So that's how they got the liquor. That's why I mentioned the liquor on the merry-go-round. So I just wanted to clarify that. And I thought it was just a weird scene to me, in my opinion. So they go to a scene, and this was pretty cool, because I play this game a lot. And uh, they went to an uh, arcade room. She's like, this is like heaven on earth, basically. And the first game uh, they played was Mortal Kombat 2. I was like, oh, shoot, I love Mortal Kombat. So they're having a good time having Mortal, uh, playing Mortal Kombat. And then uh, while they're playing, you, uh, they cut to another scene where it shows an uh, uh, infected that was just laying down. And I'm like, uh-oh, just like the freaking DLC. And so they remember, they think that, you know, the area is cleared and there's no infected in the mall. So, yeah, they don't even know that they're infected inside the mall. And they're making all that noise and all that ruckus. And they're just basically like, that's ringing the dinner bell for that infected. <clears throat> so, 
we cut to another scene and uh, she's showing her like, you know, where she's like staying at. Riley showing Ellie where she's staying at, like sleeping and all that. And she found out that, you know, she she's with the Fireflies and she's like, and then she, uh, Ellie found out that she was creating bombs for them. <clears throat> so, and then Ellie got pissed. And she like really like all this like this is this like you brought me here for a reason, and she was like I'm leaving here tomorrow, and I wanted to see you one last time. That's what Riley was saying to Ellie, and Ellie was pissed. She walked off, and she, as soon as she walked off, she got to the very end of the mall, Ellie, and then she decided to come back. And when she was finally coming back, she heard a scream. Turns out it, it wasn't Riley screaming, it was just a decoration of a Halloween screaming, but Riley was in the room, and she thought she was in danger, she wasn't in danger, <clears throat> and I thought she was. <laughs> so they cut to a scene, and then, uh, like, you know, they started to make up, uh, Ellie and uh, Riley started to make up, and then after that, they decided to play some music, and uh, put some Halloween mask on and dance on a freaking jewelry box, I think that's what it was on these platforms basically and while they're dancing they hear some uh like something knock over and then they hear some noises they're like and then they're like looking around they're like what the hell and then the freaking riley pulled out her gun and then it turns out obviously what it was was the infected so the infected charged at riley and ellie and they are just running for their lives and uh they're both fighting them at the same time. Then freaking Riley got attacked first. And she's defending like this, trying to push him off. And then Ellie tried to take him off of her. And then the freaking Infected started attacking Ellie. And then what's it called? She kicked him off of him. And then the Infected went back to Riley. And then Ellie stabbed it in the head. And then it finally died and infected. And Ellie was like, <laughs> like that was close one, right? Wasn't it? And then it showed Riley like she was bit in her hand. And then this was a good scene right here. Then it showed Ellie got bit in her uh, forearm. And this is where I, th I felt like, you know, like her life is over. Like she, it felt like real where she was like screaming, no, no. That was like, oh, shoot. It made me feel like this thing is real. And it's like she felt like, like, yeah, this is it. That's it show's over and I'm like damn that was a good scene though when she was screaming like as in like you know just like everything running through her head is like this is it and then she takes her frustration on the freaking like glass and start breaking everything in the freaking mall it seemed like and Riley was just sitting there just in distraught like I'm just accepted you know just defeat basically she's like something I can do and so they decided, you know what? Well, like if we're gonna turn infected, there's there's two options. Option A, use a gun and you know, off yourselves. But she said, I don't want to do that. I just rather just let it play out, basically. So they just, they're gonna let it play out together. <clears throat> and you know, that was a time of like, you know, uh, so this whole time this was a flashback, and the whole concept of it is like. Like you never leave someone behind, basically. And it and it cut back to Ellie at the stairs that I mentioned that she opened the door when she was about to leave Joel uh, downstairs, and he was gonna bleed out if if she leaves. She decided to close the door. I mean, open the door, search through the house, find something that she can like feel like uh, she can like fix the wound. She's going through drawer to drawer, drawer to drawer, and then she finds some uh, a needle and some thread. She comes running back downstairs. And basically, like, you know, uh, taking off Joel's shirt so he can sew, excuse me, so she can uh, sew or thread, I should say, uh, his wound to close it up so he can, you know, not be bleeding out. So she basically came back for Joel to save his life because she doesn't want to abandon him. And I thought that was a pretty cool moment, a cool tie-in from her past to what it is, what's going on right now with Joel. And that's how the, the show ended of like, you know, her coming back for Joel. And I thought it was pretty sweet and nice. And I cannot wait for the next episode. But if I have to give this a, a, a rating out of 10, I would give this, uh, I say a 6, a 6.5. Because I, I, it, was a, it was a good story. I'm not saying I hate it. It was just like, you know, 
don't know. I, and I just like it's it's hard to just like you know to say like uh, uh, I don't know. It's, it's just from the the last episode. I thought that was like a really great episode, and it's coming to this one. I was like, uh it was all right. So I don't know. It's it just something. Just I don't. Know. It wasn't like bothering. It was just something like the pacing felt slow to me, and it felt like it was just too much. Like. Uh, <laughs> I know it's gonna sound pretentious, uh, pretentious or something, but I don't know. It's just hard to describe it. But that's my rating. It's a six point five. It's not bad. It's it's it, to me this episode was average. But I'm still loving the show, so don't get it twisted. I love the show, and I can't wait for episode eight. Well, if you enjoyed my uh, review, I was gonna say reaction. <laughs> so used to reactions. If you enjoyed my review, please drop a like, comment, subscribe. Post notifications, get all my videos up to date. See you in the next video, and peace.